Hi guys, welcome to this travel duo. I welcome all of those that are joining me here for the very first time and to those that are returning, thank you so much. But today I come with something that I have never done before. So let's get to it. So if you are aware, if not, I'll link the, the video, the playlist here. We went to Disney World in November of 2022 to celebrate my daughter's high school graduation. We were there for about two weeks. So if you haven't seen the vlogs, I'll link them right here, somewhere around here. <laughs> and so you can go watch those. But this video is to announce that I'm going to do, like I said, something that I've never done before. And that is go to Disney World. You're like, what? Because this time I'm going all by myself it's the first time that i travel like this it's much less the first time that i go somewhere so far away it's the first time that i go to disney all on my own but if you see those vlogs i kept saying you know like i think i'm ready i think i'm ready let me explain i am super high anxiety i am very nervous and my anxiety is through the roof and i'm an overthinker and all of that you know so <laughs> I am very, very excited to be going for my very first solo trip to Walt Disney World, but I'm also very nervous and scared, if I dare say so. But anyways, the deets. By the time I'm recording this video, it's probably going to most likely go up when I come back, uh, simply because, you know, for safety purposes and whatnot, you never know. But as of me recording this video right now, I am currently exactly one week away from going. It's not a lot of days. I'm really only going to be there um, one park per day. Uh, so it's going to be a total of six days, I guess, if you count arrival and departure, which to me, I don't really count it. But So I took advantage of the sale that, want, that Disney World was having. I believe it was I got the room the 25% discount room on a value resort I will be staying at pop century again I just cannot go away from pop century like I'm always wanting to 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 book my stay there I just really really truly enjoy it it's economical it's not like I spend that much time in the room and what little time is spent I haven't had any issues I really do enjoy it so I'm staying at pop century I booked the room only stay and then I bought my ticket separately Disney World was having a sale a, an offer where it was 25% off the room only and then the tickets they were one park per day so a total of four tickets you can only go to one park each day and it was for $99 each ticket. So it came up to like $400, a little bit over plus tax. But I saved even more money on top of those discounts by using the gift card method. So if you guys know, you know, and if you don't go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll more than gladly explain how it is that I save more money with the gift card method. Uh, and these are gift cards that I buy, of course. Uh, but anyways, I decided to book it my daughter was Disney World out, believe it or not. I think she met her limit. Plus she has her own goals now, her own different ideas of what she wants to do. She wants to travel on her own, so she's saving money. And she's also saving for a car because her car that I had given her or passed down to her has finally died. So, and now that she's working, now that she's taking care of her expenses, she was like, you know what, you, got, you can go. Plus, she thought it was a great growth opportunity for me to actually go on a vacation by myself, um, get to discover myself, learn more about myself, try to be more independent in the sense not to be so, try to see if I can, I don't know how to say it, but with my anxiety, my overthinking and all of that. So... I'm trying to work on to try to do something more on my own and now be able to concentrate on me on what I want on what I need and not how before it was always my daughter first and then me granted in my heart in my mind she's always going to come first but now that she's growing she's basically an adult even she wants me to focus on myself uh, so I thought this was an amazing time and an amazing way to do it to go to a place where I feel comfortable I feel very comfortable at Disney World so that's one of the reasons that I'm also doing it but anyways I'm so excited I don't have a lot of things planned I think 
I love the idea that I'm going to be going and doing things on my own time. I don't have to consider anybody else but me, what I want to do, what I feel like doing. If I want to take a picture here, if I want to eat here, if I want to wake up earlier and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like if I really want to rope drop and be there early, I don't have to wait on anybody else. It's just me. And I have excited. I have two things that I'm really looking forward to that I've never, tr well, one thing that I've never tried. One is having breakfast at Kona Cafe. I want to try their pancakes. I'm not sure still what I'm going to get if it's like the the Tonga Toast or the pan macadamia nut pancake. I think that's what it's called. And also I'm going to return to California Grill. We went there on 2021, I believe, and we loved it for the 50th anniversary prefix dinner. Now they have the different, I think it's um, the 100 years of Disney prefix dinner. And so the menu has changed. So I'm excited to try what's new there. But anyways, that's basically it. I just wanted to come really quick to share how excited I am and hopefully you guys come along with me on this new adventure. Subscribe if you wanna keep getting updates. I also suggest you to go visit me at my other social medias, especially TikTok. That's where I will be sharing a lot of things and hopefully if I get to 1K by the time I leave, which you probably won't watch this, you'll watch it after but go to tiktok anyways because that's where you will be seeing videos clips pictures i like to share tips tricks and then funny videos of course and on instagram i always share pictures and all my stories and stuff like that so i'm very very excited hopefully you guys come along you will find me on my social medias as dis travel duel on tiktok instagram and of course here on youtube anyways thank you so much for watching until next time like i always say keep disney dreaming going alone to Disney World. <laughs>